Well, Brian, congratulations on getting the interim title. What does it Thanks, feel like man. to have a belt in front of you again? Man, oh, my goodness. First of all, I'm so happy, you know. Uh, you know, since my last fight in, in January in, 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 in Anaheim, I was like, like very frustrated, like very sad disappointment with myself, with my performance. Because I, I said this before in the interviews, like I, I still thinking I won that fight. But, you know, you always has this battle in your uh, m uh, mind battlefield where you need to try, you are trying to put the ego behind and try to pass the page and try to learn trying to about uh, try to learn about it and i at the end right now i feel i did it you know again after after the last fight i start to make a lot of decisions really hard decisions I, I i did a lot of changes um obviously it's not it's it's part of the of the human beings when you don't know something like something is scary right but Something good about my career, I never had this is in a scare enough to don't take those decisions. And I did it. And right now I feel everything is in the correct place again. Well, the, you guys won fight of the night, obviously. So it wasn't Let's go, money. It was an exciting fight. Is that the type of performance you expected from Kai given the, the time between both of your fights? It was it was nice. It was an amazing surprise. You know, it was a I have a lot of respect for, for Kai Kara France. And, you know, I had three fights in a row with, with Davison where we started to, to, he started to throw me a lot of trash talk. And then I'm, I start to, to get angry and I start to, to answer back. But it's very, it was very, very refreshed to be in some like, like uh, interview against Kai or whatever when the guy was like very respectful with, with me. And um, yeah, definitely I, I, I was a little bit surprised with, uh, he was a little bit more smart in the middle of the fight. I knew he will try to, to make the counter after my jab, throwing the light kick, you know, in my last fight against Davison, he killed me with the, with the, with the light kicks, but I was like working every single day and fix those mistakes, you know, with, with James, with my coach uh, Capetillo, with, with my coach Hoya, um, uh, that part of the, of the striking. And, and I did it and I feel amazing in the fight. Obviously the two round was a little bit uh, a mess, but, but we did it. And the kick that put him down, did you know that you couldn't capitalize on that technique or did you just see an opening and took advantage of it? Um, again, please, I don't understand that. Did, was that the game plan, or did you just see an opening during the fight? What, the kick? The kick that put him down. I don't know. I think it was part of his game plan, right? Like, he threw me. I mean, I I, I was trying to throw the left to the head, but I, I had, like, my 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 tight coach, like, man, you throw the... the, the the kick bat, so that's that's why the guy make the counter. Like, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I went to I went to the ground. He connect me the elbow. Um, uh, um, I knew I had some troubles in that moment, so my mentality was like, okay, I need to save or try to recover this round. So I need to be a little bit more aggressive in, uh, in the future. And Figueredo came in at the end of the fight. Dana was in here, and he said he f he thought it came off disrespectful. He didn't like how he came in and took your <laughs> took your moment. I'm curious if you felt that way in the moment. Ah uh, man, I don't care. You know, I promise I was like ready to throw everything against him in that moment. Uh, uh, he was in the in, in Dallas since like two days ago. I I saw him in the lobby in the in the hotel, and you know, man. I was ready to take the mic and let's go, motherfucker, let's go for the, the forward. But, but man, everything I say was real, man. But my, literal, my, my daughter, my other daughter is Madison. She has, she has eight years old. Man, now she understands everything or not, but she will understand. And I don't know, I, I, I knew I had the opportunity to be in a, better excel example for her i don't i don't want i don't want it for her like you know his dad doing stupid things in television right so i don't know i just took this i took the spot to uh, man brother you know i forgive you for everything and please forgive me if i did something bad against you and that's it but don't don't be don't be i mean don't be confused i want to fight against you <laughs> He wants to do it in Brazil. Is that something you would be interested in? I don't care, man. We can go to 
wherever, if, if he want to go to Brazil, we can go to Brazil. The problem is, um, he say he will be ready for the winter, he will be ready for December, but, you know, for example, the last pay-per-view of the, of the year is in, is in normally in Vegas, so we'll see what happens in the future. I just want to fight before at the end of the year. I've been waiting for him a, lot, a long time, like, I fall in, in, in December 2020, then June 2021, one time more, one more time in in this year in January 2022. So I want to have one more fight before at the end of the year. Who's next? Congrats on the win, Brandon. Thank you. Um, you know, Kai was talking about um, in the lead up that you know he was a completely different fighter. Did you feel like he, that he had evolved that much more from the first fight? Man, he was is, is smarter than the last fight. You know. Uh, uh, we were like watching uh, his last uh, fights against, you know, uh, Ascar against um, Cory Garbrandt, and he started to feel like very confident when the, the other guy don't put pressure on him. But when he, the people start to put pressure on him, he started to feel very uncomfortable. So that was my game plan. But at the same time, he was like, like very smart uh, doing the counter after my jab, throwing the light kicks. Um, that hurt me a little bit. I feel like I, I fixed my mistakes from the, my last fight in January. Um, and I closed a little bit my footwork and I, and I opened a little bit more my guard to try to defend his right hand. He's like, man, he, the guy punched hard. He's a little bit small, more than than, more than Figueredo, but he punched hard with the right hand. So I don't know. I, I was just surprised he was a little bit more smarter, and I and I had some problems of, uh, when I started to find my my right distance. Bam. Gotcha. And how was it to prepare for a different opponent other than Davison for at least the past three fights? Even though it was a rematch, still. But how how much was it to? <laughs> To prepare for somebody different, you know, and work with James, you know, James uh, is now a championship level coach, thanks to you. So, uh, man, he's uh, how how you say champion? What? He's a championship level coach now that you get. He's a first. championship level coach since like long time ago, man. I mean, that's why I went I mean, with UFC time. I, right? I I went with him for for that, you know. Every everybody, everybody asked me why I went with him when I'm when when the new was. You know, in social media or whatever. I like, man. I mean, I know maybe he's he doesn't have like like too many champions like AKA or American Top Team or whatever. But I mean, I can see his fashion and I can see he's a crazy guy, a nerd who loves this sport and he will be like there trying to get that title with me. So that's why I took the decision to go with him. And for us, it was very refreshed. Uh, at least for me. But I maybe no for for James because it was the first time, but for me it was very afraid. Like okay, different game plan, different face. So let's go. And I know you have more unfinished business, obviously, with Davison. But <laughs> uh, Pantoja fought tonight. He looked really good. Um, I know, man. That's somebody that could be on your radar in your future. So of what do you course. think? What happens when when you guys meet eventually? I saw him uh, like backstage. I saw him and we we talk a little bit. Um, man. He has a uh, difficult position because I mean I'm the the interim champion and Davison is the champion, so we need to finish that right. And but Pantoja looks amazing in his last fight against Roy Ball and this fight against Alex Perez. I don't know. I I don't know. I'm not the matchmakers. Thanks God. It's a hard position. It's a hard work. But talking about me, I mean. I just want to feel, I mean, it's not like, oh, I want to, I want to fight against Davison Figueroa again. I mean, I'm not excited. It's like, I'm done with him, but it is what it is. Like, he's the champion and I want to fight against him. So I promise I just want to finish my business with him. And then the, the next challenger, uh, I'll be ready. And lastly for me, um, at the top of the show, Joe Rogan was stating that, uh, that Davison probably wouldn't be coming back and that this fight was for the real title. But he wouldn't be coming back down to flyweight. So what, what do you think about that? Man, it's, you know, it's not my thing. You see the guy when he arrives to the arena, he looks in another different division. <laughs> but I, I mean, I don't, I, I, I was saying I don't, I want to stop the hate. But I mean, I, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, man. Um, but I don't know. Hopefully he can be ready for December. Uh, that's it. Uh, Brendan over here. Uh, 
Do you have any words of wisdom that you want to give to Kai Car friends following his loss? Sorry? Like, did you have like any advice that you would want to give to Kai following his loss? Man, I, not really. I I went just with him, and you know, again, I it's I think everything is the same. Like, I was like very happy to fight with uh, with other face. So that's why I went with him. Like, man, I was like very grateful with him. Like, man, you are a fucking gentleman. You are a fucking warrior. You are amazing. Thank you so much for this little war. And uh, man, all the all the success in the future for you. And your last two fights haven't been in Mexico, but one's been in California, one's been in Texas. Uh, which one have you had the bigger reception from the fans? <sighs> you know, I, for me, uh, every single arena was very special. Every single uh, city, you know, Arizona, man, was was crazy when I won the title. Um, then um, Anaheim. Man, you know, I I still very frustrated because I lost that one. A lot of Mexican crew was there, but I was very close to my to my city, to Tijuana. Um, and this one, man, I I I saw the the wave of the of the of the people, you know, all this. Si se puede, like you you can do it, man. That's is those kind of moments is why I'm here doing this sport, man. And who's gonna pay your uh, pay for your post fight dinner? Is it gonna be Masio? Is it gonna be? <laughs> Oh, perros, ¿quién va a pagar la cena? Oh, Jason va a pagar the 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 bearded guy va, is paying the the dinner. <laughs> awesome, bro. What's up? Hermano, pues nada, o sea. Fueron un mar de emociones, o sea, empezando desde el enero, el enero pasado, ¿no? Por todo lo que comentaba de, de, del temor y la frustración y, y el coraje de haber perdido. Luego viniendo hasta acá, el campamento, las decisiones. Están entrando a Five Week, pues entra el nervio, que es normal. O sea, yo creo que el, ya se ha dicho muchas veces, pero el que te diga que no siente nervios en este momento es, está mintiendo. Yo siempre siento, estoy súper nervioso y por más que me veas sonriendo y por más que me veas ahí pasándola bien, yo sigo teniendo muchos nervios. Um, toda esa experiencia, nada, me hace, me hace reflexionar un poquito en que por algo estoy donde estoy, ¿no? Porque a pesar de todos los, los momentos difíciles, eh, he sabido pasar los obstáculos y, y, y creo que... El, siempre el obstáculo ha sido el camino y, y, y he ido por el camino correcto. Carnal, pues que soy mexicano, <ríe> que soy latino y soy mexicano. Eso es lo que habla. <ríe> uh, Brandon, right here. Let's go. Sorry. Uh, so is that move to glory uh, MMA? Is that going to be permanent for you? Man, 100%. Watch the fight. <laughs> I was, I, I did everything great. Obviously, I had problems, and and my coaches uh, was like with me, like hey, celebrate today and everything. But we need to fix some little things. But yeah, I feel that I'm amazing with him. His, I love his energy, brother. I love your your energy, brother. I love your energy. Uh, we connect perfect, and I know definitely we can do bigger things in the future. And then, how, how do you think you've gotten better uh, over this time? Man, so my goal in, in this training camp was like be a, a mixed martial arts. You know, before I was like very focused and and I don't be confused. I I love boxing. My 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 coach Capetillo. I love boxing, coach. I love boxing. <laughs> I too, you too. <laughs> but I'm trying to be not just the boxer of the division. I'm trying to be a mixed martial artist in general. Work with my kicks, work with my elbows, my takedowns, everything, the control. So I've been working, you know, with two with with my coach Hector Vasquez, um, with Joya, with James. Uh, man, so that's it. That's my goal in in, in the future. Be a mixed martial artist. And then uh, earlier, I think this year, Adrian Yanez said he felt like he's the best boxer in the UFC. What do you say to that? Man, I, that guy is a monster, man. That guy is a monster. Be careful the next opponent of him because Adrian Janice is doing great and amazing things. And uh, lastly from me, uh, Kansas City Barbecue or Texas? Ah, again? <laughs> Jack Stack is really good. Man, 
I, I, I don't take um, Dallas barbecue yet. Recommend me a place, please. I don't know. I mean, I'm from Houston, but Damn it. I've, I've tried both Kansas City barbecue. <laughs> I've tried Kansas City barbecue, and I got to say it's probably the best. <laughs> Kansas City barbecue is really good. <laughs> My only recommendation, try Kansas City barbecue. It's delicious. Let's go. Thank you so much. Guys. Have an amazing night. Okay.